Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of TCD Talk, back today with another commoner video for you all today and another commoner gameplay with my buddy Breezy. Um, if you did not watch our last gameplay, we did a Briar Katsu matchup, so if you want to check that out, you can. Uh, but we're going to be doing another matchup for you all today, and really quick, just kind of a little bit short intro than last time, so that way if you're not new to these this series, it won't take too much of your time. Um, we're doing basically at random commoner builds uh, with the new commoner format coming out. We really wanted to you know get some good gameplay for you all out. The same thing I said in the last video, we have two ground rules with these decks. One, these decks aren't meant to be like a commoner that you would take to like a battle hardened. Uh, they're fun decks that we built uh, with the cards we had available. I'd say most of them are about 90% solution. Some of them are, are actually tuned pretty well. Um, the second rule that we made for these de decks is that we wanted to do decks that stayed true to the hero so you know we make the funny example of a kano build that has like all generic attack actions like yes you could build it that way but it wouldn't stay true to what the hero is trying to do so we tried to stay true to like the hero's abilities and card type and stuff like that so um you'll notice that with the deck list we really tried to stay with the flavor of the hero but we're gonna go right into it we're gonna roll here basically whatever we roll is what we get so it could be a crap matchup or a good matchup if it's a five or a six i guess we'll just re-roll um and then one through four will be for that hero so we'll go ahead and do that i rolled a five so i'm gonna re-roll i rolled a two so, so levia I, I rolled three oldheim oh gosh okay <laughs> this is like is the this? least good deck that i wanted to play uh i don't know here we go for context anyone watching i've played guardian a total of zero times other than like sealed um yeah it's just not my cup of tea but we will play it regardless for fun so I'll, as opposed to last time i'm gonna set my equipment out early so i'll talk about my deck first with this one um Breezy already knows what the deck's about, so it's okay if I kind of reveal it. But I kind of went with the ice build for this one. Um, Oldheim Commoner is kind of weird. I don't have access. This, out of all the decks, this is the one I had access to the least of, quote, quote, of all the cards. Um, but I just had to go with, like, a control -y ice build to try to, like, utilize Anthos to the best of its ability um, and just kind of, like, grind my opponent out. Um, the equipment suite using Helm of Eisen's Peak, obviously, like probably one of the more solid common equipments in the game, given that plus one intellect and deep blue. It was either going to be deep blue or something else, but I decided to go with deep blue just in case I draw the dreaded four red hand. I can try to cycle something and at least pitch for Anthos, Goliath Gauntlet, and then Ironhide Lakes. But I'm not sure for Breezy what your focus was with Levy and Commoner. What did you see <laughs> different? Because I know you've played her in like normal Blitz. Yeah, yeah. So for this one, and this was the deck that had kind of struck the chord of like do i have to go full blood debt like try to do what leviah wants to do or do i kind of go janky because that's the thing like in commoner i probably could have gotten away with a lot of just like standard brute i say generic brute cards things that would work in reinar and ko and things like that or mm -hmm. i go as much blood debt and do like what leviah wants to do just trying my best to survive so that's kind of what i did i just wanted to stay true to it you'll find some staple Ryan RE cards, but for the most part, it, it really is trying to capitalize off my graveyard, banish and do things like that. So, yeah. Yeah. And Levy is weird a little bit because like, I don't know, I, I'm interested to see what they do with Levy just in general, because she's the one here where her ability isn't a positive thing. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like they're going to have, I did, I don't know. I feel like they're going to have to make, she's okay, but they're going to have to make some really broken cards to make her like top viable. Just because her innate ability doesn't do anything. It's, her innate ability is don't kill me. Try not to let me die to myself. So yeah, there needs to be more brute attacks that can be then played from Banished Zone. Like, what mm -hmm. does that be? Because right now, Ghostly Visit is really the only generic shadow card that can then be played from Banished Zone. So, Chain really got the, the better end of the, the Banished playability. Stick. Yeah. Yeah. Put in the rotten so. old buckler for funsies. Uh -huh. <laughs> nice. Is, Anth Wait, is Anathos a two-handed or is it one-handed? I, I haven't looked. Oh, it is two-handed. Oh, You're dumb. I'm I'm so dumb. <laughs> I was thinking, um, what's the other one? Uh, um, so I had uh, that Titan's Fist. That's what I had in there at first. Oh yeah, yeah. Anthos, yeah. yeah, we can't use Buckler. I know. I, I just I built Bravo, and I've again I've probably played him a total of zero times. So when I was looking at it, I was like, yeah, I've played Guardian a total of zero, other than Sealed. Yeah. I think I've played Oldheim and Sealed one time when Tales first came out. But other than that, like that's about it. Okay. <laughs> we'll shuffle here. All right, we'll roll. See who goes first. 
Let's do it. Roll to 12, so there's that. Yep. Six. I will go first here. Okay, cool. Um, oh, brother, this would be interesting. Yes. I don't think Levi is the one that wants frostbite on my turn. I'm going to get uh, be dancing on this. Mm. Interesting. Plus, if you're not super aggro and you just come in with hammer, like I'm going to have a really hard time filling up my graveyard. So Exactly. That's kind of a bad <laughs> matchup for you. But that at the same sucks. time, if you push over the top on me and I have to block out. But yeah, cause I don't have all three blocks in here since a lot of the ice cards are two. Um, we're going to get spicier off the bat and we're just going to destroy Helm of Ice and Peak. Pitching nice. one. Okay. So uh, here gains plus one to the end turn. And then we will move to instep and I'll pass to you. Cool. Yep. We'll draw to five. Kind of like the critical thing. I think that's when I when I was building Bravo, that was my thing. I was like, cool, I'm just gonna run that and just if I go first, just start with a five card hand, don't let him filter yep. and just <laughs> It's the same with Ebon Fold and Chain. I, I almost always pop it turn one, just get a six card yeah. hand if I have a blood deck card in my hand. Well, um yeah. So since I stuck true to the 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 vein of what she wants to do, uh this turn's pretty trash. <laughs> pretty pretty boring. <laughs> uh so let's see if we could just like filter out a little bit. Um, yeah. Attack action. Um golly. Yep, yeah, so I think we just do this just to try to get graveyard full. Although I don't know if I want my graveyard full of this. Uh but it'll it's a start. So I'll play unworldly bellow. It's a one cost, so I'll pitch a blue here. And float two, and oh no, I can't. As an additional cost, I have to. Oh my god, I can't even play that. All right, well, we'll just do what we were originally gonna do and just romping club for four. Club me for four, okay? Yeah, I will crown a seat. No, I'm just kidding. Um, uh, right, so I honestly like had to look up at the screen for a second just to make sure. Um, yeah, I'll declare no blocks. Any reactions? Yeah, no reactions here. I'm off feet. Okay, cool. We'll opt one. Yeah, I'll keep that on top. Sweet. I will just move to end step here. All right, cool. Now let's see how uh, we're going to do this. Put, uh, what do we want to put in here? Probably this. And then draw two. Full five card hand. It's yeah, I hope little... you do something with it. <laughs> you would think, right? Um, Go super wide somehow. Right. So we will... There's that... That's the only thing. He can't go super wide. I thought about putting like zealous know. belting in here at first and like doing mm -hmm. stuff like that, but it's just a little weird. Um. Okay, so there's that. There's that. Yeah. So we got to do this the inefficient way on purpose. Okay, so we'll play a winner's bite yellow. So discard card or pay two. Go again. Oh, you know I'm gonna be discarding. Mm -hmm. um, that's right. It actually helps you. That's a good point. Uh, let's discard uh, this guy here. All Rabbling right. Rabbling growl. Um, cool. So there's that. Then we will pitch one. Pitch a red icy encounter to play polar blast. Pay one or our next uh, card gains dominate. Um, yeah, I think we want. Wow. Well, <clears throat> um yeah i will i'll pitch a blue slogism so technically float two for no good reason okay i should have arsenal that but it's fine um so you pitch so it doesn't have dominate so in that case yeah we'll probably just end up unfortunate yeah, I guess we got to keep the hand here. I made you pitch away two cards, so that's nice. But we will... Or pitch away one card, really. One yeah. card, discard one. Um, Yeah, I think it's better to have a five-card hand for next turn. So we'll pitch three here. Not going to get the plus ability, but we're going to end those for four. Okay. Uh, Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and block six. Okay, sounds good. I'll move to the set. I'm assuming it was a bad hand anyway. 
Yeah, I probably could have done something, uh, or at least worst case scenario, kept a card, pitched it for romping, but I think at this point I'm going to be fighting to fill this graveyard, so... I can't wait till all these people in the comments are like, you're playing that hero wrong. It's like, sir, I've never played this hero in my <laughs> life, so... Uh, I, I hope I'm playing him wrong because if yeah. he's right, then this is uh, we're in bad shape. Fine. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, cool. Well, I'm just gonna end turn and pass back to you as I draw up. Unless you have anything. No, nope, nothing for me. Cool. All right. So we'll do that. Okay. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Yipper. Yeah, this is already going well. Okay. Um. <laughs> we will pitch two to play Earthward Surge. Next tag right. action we have gains a plus three. Let's go again. One floated. Um, and then we will play. Oh, shitty. We're going to pop deep blue here. We're getting really crazy. Um, we're going to sink to gain three resources. I love using that card, Lexi. Okay. Um, so go up to four. And then we will play a icy encounter for eight on hit. Uh, create a frostbite. Two floating. Hummel. Uh, <laughs> this sucks that there's nothing you could do about it. <laughs> like there's literally nothing uh, unless you just say F you and block it all out. Um, for eight, you said it's yep. not dominate or anything. No like dominate that. eight on hit create frostbite. Oh, this sucks. I don't want these to be filling my graveyard, but I am going to be blocking three, four, five, six, seven, two pummels and a, yeah. Marauder. yeah, in response, I'll pummel it, give it plus three, so it's going to be 11. All right, I will sink below, so blocking a total of three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> All right, no frostbite for you. Uh, it's, it's not good, because now I've got a weird ratio of junk in my graveyard when I actually need it. Yeah. Just run. I'm running fatigue here. For real. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to end, end turn here as I draw up, if, unless you have anything. No, nah, not for me. Cool. Back to you. Yep. Hmm. Oh, brother. That's what I'm saying. One of these turns, I'm going to just take damage to the face so I can do something. Yeah, well, this is going to be a simple turn for us, to be honest. So you're just going to help you a little bit. Um, yeah, we're going to pitch three and Anthos for four. Um, let me see where my... Did I do that? Oh, is this discard a random? Oh, God. That is the other thing with Brute, too, is like even if I have a plan, some of these things are randomized, so... Um, yep, I will declare, well, you know, I really should declare a single block just to fill some grave. Um, yeah, I'll block three here. Okay, sounds good. So just take them one. Yeah. No reactions for me. Cool. Um, and we'll arsenal discard and pass back to you. Cool. All righty. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can do something here. Um, I guess worst case scenario, still the same. Well, no, we want to do this. Um, okay, cool. Yep. Let's do this. Let's. Oh god, this feels so bad, but I think it's probably the best thing to do. Although, no. Um. Yeah, I'm going to start the turn by breaking heart and cross strap to make my next attack action cost two less. Okay. And then I'm going to play a primeval bellow uh, blue. So as an additional cost, just discard a random card here. Top one's fine whenever you're done. Uh, I've got left or right. Yeah. Left. 
this guy. Yep. Okay. It is a hungering slaughter beast. All right. It's so intimidate. So, uh no, unfortunately, yeah. that's that's Reinar's. That's junk. right, right. Yeah, yeah. I guess yeah. it's uh, the other one, Awakening Bellows, one intimidates. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. So I'll have to put that there, and technically, I have to put this. Well, I haven't utilized. Well, yeah. I yeah, it's attack it. action. Yeah. yeah. Um, Heart and Cross Shaft's so, attack action, right? Yeah, but I mean, for the whenever I use an equipment, I have to technically put it in the graveyard. Um, yeah, you're right. It's just more relevant for Levia because of what she does. Um, so then let's do a Dread Screamer. So that's where the Heart and Cross Strap will pay for it. So mm-hmm. it's going to say, as an additional cost, banish three cards from your graveyard. If a six or more is banished, it has go again. Okay. So I'll just give these a little. The top so three I'm off. Not, my odds are so, slow, so low right here. But all right, let's see. We'll do, mm. we got Hungering, Boneyard, and Hungering. Okay, nice. so we did get not only sixes, but all blood debts here. So Let's go again. Thing. Yep, so it is six go again. All right. Um, it's my blood debt down there. Yeah, we will. where me not being a guardian player does not help um yeah yeah uh, i'll declare no blocking reactions no reactions all right how much is it coming in for uh, six all right so we're gonna do this we're gonna block four and then any reactions for you yep no reactions and then we will Pitch three to old times defense reaction, making you put the top card back on top of your deck. You dirty dog. Okay. Beep beep. So taking two. Take two. Yep. Yeah. Man, it feels so much better be on the other side of that. Uh, we'll fate real fast. I'll keep. That. Oh yeah. Cool. That's right. it. Sweet. One, two, three. I'm just drawing up. Pass yep. back to you. So we'll pitch. One here to play a Polar Blast from Arsenal. We'll draw a card and then pay one or next hat gains dominate. One floating. Um, how many cards in hand? Two. Two. Um, I really don't need to. Well, I should probably do this, to be honest. Three. Yeah. Well, let me check my graveyard real quick and see how many. Cards one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Um, it's a little, little suspect here. So next, do that. Ugh, gross. Yeah, I will. Um, I'll uh declare no response from that, and I'll just nothing. Okay. Take so, dominate. Okay. Um. And then we'll go ahead and yeah, yep. We'll go ahead and pitch to go up to four resources to the swing Anthos for six. Um, dominated. Polar blast is attack, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't uh, say action. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. So yeah. six. Yeah, okay. I just yeah, yeah. wanted to get is to it? six. Oh, yeah, okay. good. I could have attacked, but yeah. No, nah, that's okay. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do too much here anyway. Um, I think we just want to do this. Right? That's so boring. Um, no, declare no blocks here unless you have reactions. No, nope, no block. Nothing for me. Okay, cool. So I'll take six. six. Or take six. Yeah. All right, and I'll pass to you. Cool. And I will draw. All right. I've got a couple options. I don't know if I just need to break Eben. I feel like Eben is my get out of jail free card if I can't turn off blood debt, honestly. Mm-hmm. So maybe don't. Um, but then again, this is also super sketch. Oh, 
Oof. Oh. Um. oh, there go my dogs because they think Alexa must be walking to the dogs. They're going to howl. I have to get up for five seconds because if I don't, they're going to keep howling. <laughs> Quit. Hey. Okay. Uh, oops. If Alexa walks two of the dogs, then the others howl because they wanted to go. Okay, on to you. Um, let's do... Let's just do this then. Um, yeah, I gotta do this. This sucks though. Uh, let's play a blue slogism. And okay. And I'm gonna pitch... I think I'm just gonna do this. Because this is so scary. Well, no, you know what? Let's live on the wild side. I'm gonna pitch the uh, unworldly bellow to pay the cost. So next attack gets, uh, or as long as it's cost two or more, it's gonna get plus four. So mm -hmm. I'm going to play a Deadwood Rumbler. And I have to pitch for it. And it just tells me to draw a card and then discard a random card. If it's a six or more, uh, I can banish a card from my graveyard. I got pure lucky. Uh, it is a six. Okay. So now I can banish a card. So it is coming in for 10 here. All and right. I'm going That's to a banish feels bad. a card. I just need to get rid of is all of it blood dead though. It is. All right. Well, mm -hmm. I will. I'm just going to pitch it to have it. We'll pitch the block with our hide legs for two, take an eight. Okay, cool. Yeah. Take an eight. Yep. Yeah, no responses here. Not fun, but hand kind of dictates how they're going to have a choice. Oh, I will clean it up. Pass to you. Sounds good. Um, okay. Yeah, so we will simply we'll pop Goliath Gauntlet here. Gotta put a little pressure on. Um then we'll pitch to play Icy Encounter for six. On hit career frostbite. None floating. Um you said this one's uh coming in for six? Yep, six on hit career frostbite. Ah, dang, Icy Encounter costs two. Yep. What a weird thing. Um, yeah, that definitely. You have. You still have cards in hand, yeah? Yeah, two cards. Okay. God. I think you just run the full suite of pummels, so you're probably going to see one every freaking hand uh, for six. Mm hmm. Let's do. I think this will help. Well, it's not the worst, I guess. Let's block nine here. Okay. Yeah. In reaction, yeah, we'll pitch to pummel. Giving okay. it plus four, so it's gonna be a total of ten. Okay. Yep. Any there reactions? You. Uh no. i just so pick a discard and then create a frostbite. Yep, I've just got the one here. Okay. Um, yeah, and then I'll make a frostbite. Yeah. Oh, I don't have a... I'm going to pretend like this is a frostbite, even though it's not going to be here for much too long. Yeah. Just figured I wouldn't let you club. Yeah, like worst case scenario, club, I'm still going to end up taking... I have four blood debt here. Yeah, so exactly. on my turn, I'm going to do nothing. I'm just going to take four blood debt. So if you want to knock me four... This is where Levia starts hating her life. Okay. Um, yep, and then just drop back up. We're going to simply pitch two winners grasp to play Anthos for six. Wait, not no, no, it's for four. It's for four. It's always cost three or greater. So I'm gonna play Guardian. So yeah, it's for it's for four. Kind of a crappy hand to be honest. Could have done it differently then based off what I just did. Let's do We just do this to be fair to just just keep it simple. 
Um, I need to start filling up my graveyard. I'm going to block five here. All right. Yeah, I will pitch to pummel it, giving it plus four. It's going to be eight. Gross. Um, okay. Taking so three. Got, yeah, taking three. And then I will... Which one am I getting rid of? Is it? It's not random, is it? I get to pick. You get to pick, yeah. Okay. Because I guess I would have messed that up last time. Um, let's just throw this there. That's one of those times where I missed red because what I would have done is I would have done Winter's Grass for five and then did. Yeah, it's fine. It's only one more point of damage, but I would have had a five card hand the next turn. That's fine. Yeah. All right, on to you. Yep, I'm just simply... Going, dude, I'm dead. I'm literally going to kill myself. I'm going to pitch a blue and just romp in club for four. Yep. Uh... Yeah, we'll take the four here. Okay, yep. And then I'll take four as well. <laughs> Down to one. Yeah. All right. Um. Yeah, we'll... We'll pitch... Oh, we could do. I feel like I'm not doing anything. Yeah. I, have so, I have so many cards in my graveyard, dude. We'll pit six to do a Glacial Footsteps, fusion with Icy Encounter for nine Dominate. Oh, well, is that even necessary? <laughs> <laughs> That's that. Uh, was that a red one, too? You it's a yellow. Oh, it's a yellow. Okay. Give me some dignity, throw the blue one at me. Nah. <laughs> Good game. All right, for sure. Yeah, this is as soon as I realized like what Oldham does and how this interaction is going to take it's place. Very, it's very, very oh, bad. Is so <laughs> bad for her. It actually is. So bad for Leviathan because she doesn't. She really doesn't have any like threatening on hit effects. It just has to be like super tall, kind of punishing if you decide not to block and I happen to have a pummel. But other than that, like I'm not giving you any ultimatums if you don't block. Really. Exactly. Are we going again? Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. Cool. No. We got uh, one more, and after this, if you take it 2 0, then I think we call uh, Oldham versus Leviah. <laughs> kind uh, of a one side matchup. Oh, shit. I just shuffled my whole deck, and I've got a heart and cross drop in here. Yeah, for anyone watching, he plays Leviah a decent amount, but Commoner is a lot different. It's a lot harder to like work around your hand because Levy is already hard in general. The old yeah. high matchup doesn't feel good. And I went for a straight kind of controly old high, which makes it even worse. But yeah, you know, like definitely yeah. that that uh I C D react that you pulled. I mean, I was gonna only push in I had discarded a card, so romping club was on. So it was gonna be a six followed by a romping for five. So it was eleven damage turn that you, you prevented five of it and you only took two. So it's like, oh my god, dude. Mm -hmm. And I broke equipment to do all this junk, so all right. Yeah. Um, do you just want to swap? Uh, you want yeah, to you want to go first this time so you can start filling up your graveyard. Uh, <laughs> or second. I, I'll go. I'll go first. That way, I can at least tuck an arsenal because I okay. don't think anything. Yeah. Because uh, against you, all you have to do is arsenal and pass, or break head piece and pass. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, cool. Let's just keep it simple here and. I got, I got one option, but this is probably the better of cards to put into a graveyard early game. So I will pitch and hit you for four with a ghostly visit. Just floating two. It is a one cost though, so. Yep. Nope, no pummels. Yeah, we'll block five here. Oh. Yep, that is it for me. Sounds good. I'll just arsenal and pass. All right. Um, yeah, we will simply glacial footsteps for nine dominate. It's the dumbest thing ever, to be honest. Like, I hate it. I actually hate it. Um, I have a really horrible hand here, though. This doesn't help at all. Ugh, like, so bad. Um, so I can do that. Okay. We're going to destroy deep blue here. 
Get three resources, sink this. And then we'll pitch a blue pummel, go up to six. And then play a glacial footsteps, fusing it with a polar blast for nine dominate. Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this shit's so dumb. Uh, cool. I will um, say cool as if it's cool. Oh, I should um, pop Goliath Gauntlet. Be even worse. Yeah, what's it coming for? Nine. Nine again? dominate. Yeah. You 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 literally are just like ah, oh, you have a shitty hand. But uh, I didn't realize what I could do until Deep Blue. I looked over at Deep Blue and I was like, wait, never mind. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna block uh, three here and take, take six. Six. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Now I'll move in so. No, yeah, I'd, okay. I literally, when I said that, I hadn't looked over a deep blue yet, so I was like, oh, never mind. I could have Goliath gone out there, I probably should have, but it's fine. Dog. We're not Dog. playing for efficiency here. No, yeah, and I've got two in Graveyard, that's why I was like, cool, whatever you want to throw at me, I'm just going to over block to hell. Mm -hmm. But no, of course, dominate. All right, cool, well, this is going to be simple. I'm going to do some jank and pitch a red for Romping Clown, but I do a one, so I'm going to pitch a blue floating uh, two for no reason. And so uh, six. Come, at you, come at you for just four. for four. Yeah. Um, what's our next hand look like? You have two in hand, one in. Uh, just one in hand and one, one in so. two, two floating. No matter. <laughs> Uh, what a cleaner blocks. Any reactions? No reactions. All right, I will. Yeah, we'll take the four here. Okay, sounds good. Yep. I'll just clean it up. Pass to you. Draw three. All right. Uh, we will. We'll play out an amulet of ice here. Go again. What does that one do? You when you. Can you I can just break it and get me frostbite. I can destroy it and you discard a card unless you pay two. And I only okay. can do it if I have ice fuse that turn. Um, okay. Okay. Then we'll pitch a blue to play out polar blast yellow. So pay two or my next attack games dominate and I'll draw. Um, what do I want to do here? Can't put this in there. So, um, Oh, because that was from Arsenal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, you can have you can have the dominate. Okay. In that case, we'll pop Goliath Gauntlet here. Um, and we will. We will to so we will pitch to go up to four. Um, to play a Snow Under, fusing it with Amulet of Ice. So it's coming for nine dominate. Um, if it hits, create a frostbite token. Down one resource. I'll uh, block one here and then uh, just jump to reactions if you have any. Uh, nothing for me. Cool. I'll just block with a sink below here. So you block Some total block of five total. Yeah. Taken four. Taken four. And then. Yeah, you said you're going to break that. I'm yeah, I'm a pop and device, so discard card unless you pay two. Okay. okay. Um, how does that work in regards? Can I sync first? Yeah, you you resolve your sync before I do okay. that. Yeah, yeah. And that, I guess let me see if I even... I think I want... Oh, God. So I got that. That's... Those two are going in there, so that's four cards. Pay two or... Discard, you said? Yeah, it's basically a frost thing. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, we will... Yeah, this sucks. It just doesn't feel good. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's not enough. Okay. Then in that case, I will discard. Okay. Sounds good, and I'll move to set and pass to you. 
Um, uh, yeah, I guess uh, I should have said I'm not going to sync anything. So okay, now you're good. <laughs> um, cool. Well, I have no blood debt, so that's different. Mm. <laughs> um, let's see here. So I've got an option to do this. Yeah, I think we just do this. Yeah, I, I think I, this is like my one chance here. I'll just break Goliath here. Mm -hmm. Plus two. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. Uh, and then I will play Dread Screamer. Uh, you know what? I need to. I need to sequence that. I need to break Heart and Cross Trap. My bad. You're good. Go ahead. Break Heart and Cross Trap to pay for the Dread Screamer. Yeah. And it just tells me to um, banish three randoms. Yep. You said tops. Whenever top it's three is fine. Yep. Yeah. Hooves, of course. Uh, we do have a six here, and then a sink below. Jesus. Okay. All right. Cool. So it is coming in for six, seven, eight with go again. Okay. Um. You have two cards in hand. Two in hand. Yeah. Oh, I think these are supposed to go in there. God, I'm such a noob, dude. My bad, y'all. Hmm. <laughs> You're good, dude. <laughs> uh, so we dash. Okay. So we'll block for one and then pitch to block two. So three total. Uh, two floating. Two floating. So currently I was coming for Taking eight. five. Taking five. Any um, reactions? Reaction. Okay. No. Sounds good. Um, then let's just I think we just need to keep this honestly. Uh, we'll pitch romping club here for five. I'm sorry, four. Yeah, we'll take four. I'll just move to end step. All right, uh, that's gone. All right, cool. Um, well, first we'll play out an amulet device, and then we will pitch three to Anthos for four. No floating. Nope. Um, yeah. Let's do. Let's see how many did I have in here? Four. One, two, three, four, oh, five. For four, he says, I will. Yep, I'll block. Uh, I'll block three here. All right. Yeah, I'll pitch and I'll pummel it, giving it plus four, so it'll be eight. Okay, so taking um five. five. Yep. And then I'll discard. No, you don't discard. It's only off of oh, non right. weapons. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weapons, just raw damage here. Amulet will stay on the field, and that'll be it. On you. Cool, cool. Um, let's do. Yeah, I think this is probably my only real good option here. Oh, you know what? Why is Hungering Slaughter Beast in there? Dude, I totally messed this up. Hungering Slaughter Beast is legitimately not a... It's a battle worn, but I'm going to act as if I, it's okay. You're good. Uh, uh, so let's do... Um, I don't think I've ever used that card. I never use it. Yeah. I just use... Uh, what's it called? Scab skins. Scabbies. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so then... But now that I'm thinking about it, I was like, damn, that shit would that would have come in handy. Um, so let's do from Arsenal. We'll play out a unworldly bellow, and it costs one. So I will pitch a blue unworldly bellow. So floating two, and I have to banish three. Uh, and my next brute or shadow card gets a uh, plus three. Okay. So I'll banish top three. Got Graveling, Goliath, and Romping. So, did hit uh, some sixes. So, Blood Debt is off for the turn. Mm -hmm. And 
to follow up to what I'm giving plus three is going to be this hungering slaughter beast here uh, using the last two. Let me just put this in here. Uh, although, yeah, I already had three. So it's coming, so it's coming in, in for four. six plus three, so it's nine total here. Okay. And I'm going to be banishing uh, three. Yeah, we'll block seven here. Taking two. Okay. Taking two? Okay. Yep. I have no reactions here. All right. Yeah, for... Uh, I'll move to end step unless you have anything. Um. Yeah, I'll just swing with Anthos for four. Five five, huh? Tied up. Yep. Shoot. Okay. Math stinks. I'll do this and then that won't work. So whatever. Um, so I pretty much just have to do something super simple, which sucks, but for four, I will, um, I'll block five here. Okay. Block's good. That's it. Hey, sir, I will just hungering slaughter beast pitching a blue um, floating one, no cards in hand, but I do have to banish top three, so it's going to be coming in for six. Okay. Of course, slugism, hungering, and ghostly. Sounds good. Um, I'll declare no boxing reactions. No reactions here. I'll fate and I'll resolve this real quick. We'll okay. put that on the bottom. Um, and then any reactions after that? Nope. I'll fate again. <laughs> okay. We'll keep that one. What the hell is she doing? Okay. It's black and eight. Cool. It's good. Back to you. Can you hear that? Uh. Uh. Okay, she's beating on something in the kitchen. It sounds like she's beating the hell out of somebody. Okay. Um, yeah, we will simply just pitch an Anthos for four. Just one in hand. Yep. Yeah, let's do... I don't know why uh, my brightness changes like that. No blocks here. Do you have any reactions? Nope. All right, we'll sink and block four, and I will be sinking the card. All right. I'll move down the step. Cool. All right. Let's do... Oh, God. I just realized that my plan is not going to work. <laughs> Oh, no. uh, I forgot I had all this blood debt that if I don't take care of it, it's uh, it's a done deal. Mm -hmm. So, in that case, let me even check out my graveyard. Okay, so I do have exactly three cards, which is kind of sketch, because after this, it's going to put me in a pickle. Um, I need to do something with that ebb and fold, dude. Uh, let's do... I pitch this to Evan Fold. That might not be the worst, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to pitch this yellow to Evan Fold as an instant, and I'll float one. And I'm going to banish a card. If it's a shadow card, I can draw. So it is a shadow, but now I'm at six blood debt, so I'll draw one. Mm -hmm. And now. Let's just <laughs> C 
sick. Um, yeah, let's just take this uh, ghostly visit from Arsenal, or not Arsenal, from the Banished, and play it for four using that last resource that was floating. Let's come in for four. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take four here. Any reactions? Mm -mm. Yeah. Down to one. Oh my god. I was like, if he's running a razor, I swear to god. Um I was about to get so <laughs> mad if that was the case. Okay. No, I just this, hand, this card was dead in my hand, so, so just we'll draw back up. Pitch three to play snow under, fusing it with a winner's bite. So seven on hit create a frostbite token. Seven on hit, create frostbite. Yep, yeah, that sucks. Yep, he's on winner's bite. Uh, you have one card in hand, one in arsenal. Two cards in hand, one. Oh, arsenal. two cards. Oh, that's right. You took the fourth. Duh. Yeah. Well, you got the pummel. It's a done freaking deal, bro. Um. So then, in that case, I think we just have to die to blood debt. Um. Three, six, nine, seven. Okay. Uh, I'll block nine here. Okay. Yeah, we're going to pitch and pummel for three, making it ten. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what color pummel is it going to be? I hope yeah, it's blue. It's it's a <laughs> okay, yeah. Then, uh, so take yeah. a one, and then I would crack amulet of ice at instant speed, make you discard a card or pay two. Yeah. Then uh, the pummel was going to make me discard. And you discard anyway. Yeah, yeah, just for yeah, fun. Just. And then I died of blood died debt. Died of blood debt. Yep. Damn. Yeah, well, dude. I, can, I had this for like three turns and I kept drawing it. Uh, cost, and I have like six one cost cards in this deck. Unfortunate. <laughs> it's like, damn you, Demolition Crew. Yeah. I need my Dominate, bro. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Not a fun matchup, I don't think, for either side, to be honest. Um, Looking at it now, I probably should have not ran Anthers just because like you have to get two, three costs or greater in your pitch zone. And the only thing in my deck that really does that, I didn't think about it until after I built this, was like Snow Unders and my Glacial Footsteps. Those are the only thing that I can pitch that are going to proc that. And I didn't even think about that until after I built this deck. So you live and you learn, but it's fine. Yeah. Which is still like yeah. six to ten cards, but still, the, I don't want to be pitching those cards, especially Snow Unders. Those are like really good cards. Um, like Red Snow Under for seven on hit, create a frostbite, and you can pummel it. Like, it's super nice. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, the thing that I'm running into yeah. with, with her in this commoner format is there's without, and this is why I wanted to go jank. I was like, dude, I really need a way to, like, go again. Because there's no Art of War. There's no Shadow Puppetry. There's no, like, things that give you that, like, wide stance mm -hmm. plus the tall damage. So it was just like, oh, my God, should I go a little jank but no i had to stick true to the blood debt which as you can see it's just snail speed and doesn't output enough to threaten much of anything and then you throw frostbites in there what am i supposed to do exactly so. but yep yeah y'all thank you all so much uh, a little bit longer video but that's just the case of these two heroes but i appreciate y'all we'll keep doing these videos throughout the next couple of weeks um and making sure that we get y'all look at every single hero in the commoner format uh just for fun Hopefully you all enjoyed this. If you did, you can leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you want. If not me, go to another Flesh and Red career, do the same thing for them so we can get more people seeing this game. And we'll see you all next time on Tuesday Talk. See you all later.